For the page and the resource that you've been given, I'm going to ask you to try and identify the intended audience for that particular resource or text. I'm going to also ask you to write down or put in some brief words on the page some assumptions that that piece of text is making about the audience. Okay? So you'll identify the audience and then you'll think about some assumptions that that text is making. The next thing you'll need to do is try to think about what its purpose is. So why was this text created and how would it be useful to the intended audience? Your final task will be to try and come up with a title for it. Okay? However, the important part of this activity, as you can see, each of those first three tasks requires you to say, how do I know this? So once you think you've identified the audience, I want you to try and work out how you knew that. What was it within the resource or the text that allowed you to identify the audience? The same about the assumptions about your audience. In the same way that I made some assumptions because you're CDU students that you might know some of those acronyms. How did you know to make these assumptions that you've identified about your audience? How do you know about the purpose of the text or the resource that you've been asked to look at. So some of the things you might want to consider. Have a look very carefully at the language that is being used in the resource that you've been asked to look at. Does it use a bunch of complex, sophisticated words? Does it use a bunch of simple, very clear to un very easy to understand words? So no jargon, no scientific vocabulary, no crazy words that only someone who's deeply involved in that topic would understand. So just ask yourself, what is that language doing and what is it telling me? If it's clear and simple, it might be that the intended audience is someone who knows nothing about that topic. If you can see that there are some fairly convoluted words being used, then maybe there's an assumption there that the audience knows about the topic or that they're a bit more mature age or whatever that is. Have a look at the presentation style. You can think about, is it text heavy? So if we just got lots and lots of words and very little animation or image or colour. So presentation style can also give you an indication about audience and its purpose. Tone is another one. Very simply, think of it as formal or informal. We won't go into any more detail than that today. Is the tone of the piece a formal piece of writing or is it a little bit more relaxed? Okay, so look out for maybe slang words there and um, abbreviations or uh, using things like can't instead of cannot. Little clues like that in the words can sometimes indicate the formality or informality of the piece. And of course length. Okay, sometimes, not all the, t not all the time, but sometimes the length of a piece can also tell you about its intended audience.